wonder in its original meaning is not just that when we wonder what's happening, which is we're puzzled by something, and not even just that when we <clears throat> look up at the stars and look around and we feel a, a sense of uh, something greater than ourselves. But the sense of wonder originally means closer to astonishment. Astonishment. A kind of astonishment of existence in itself, that I'm alive, that there is this universe, that there is life, that there is anything at all. Why, who are we? What are we here for? Not just questions that are interesting, but that are that evoke a kind of inner stop of, of silence of, of like a child who is just waking up in the world, like a baby being born. There's an element of primordial astonishment that we sometimes experience ourselves which is, I think, at the deepest root of this word, wonder. And then to understand doesn't mean to explain, to figure out, to manipulate, to know causes and effects, although that's all part of understanding. It's not just that I, this little man, wishes to explain, figure out, and survive by looking around and looking at the patterns of the world and being scientific or whatever, it also means that I, I, I wish I need to awaken the deeper reality in myself that mirrors, reflects the external reality that I see in all its elemental principal forms. The real source of human suffering, according to, say, the the philosophies of the East, like Buddhism and Hindu traditions, is that the, the, the ultimate cause of all human suffering is that I don't know this reality in myself, that I'm not astonished enough, that I'm not concerned enough to discover the reality in myself, not just mentally, but experientially, 